Knowing how to handle different situations in early game, whew, especially as it comes to like fighting, is one of the most important skills that you have in Fortnite. What's going on guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I just wanna encourage you, be yourself because there's greatness on the inside of you. So in Fortnite, whether you're a pro player or a total beginner, awkward situations are inevitable you know, they're gonna happen. You may be pushing up on an entire mountain to reach your opponent, you know, be fighting with 10 HP and have scuffed loot among millions of other potential situations, right? Obviously, a lot of uncomfortable situations may arise in Fortnite, that's just how it is. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on some of the most difficult situations, which are, you know, different positions that you may be fighting from. And we'll be discussing a bunch of different positional situations that you're gonna run into during the early, mid, and late game, and how you can counter these situations and come out on top. Bunch of Crunch Army, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world screaming this out. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that. Bunch of Crunch! Woo! And let's get this going. Also, if you're struggling in another specific situation and can't seem to figure out why, you gotta check out ProGuys.com, where we have pro coaches available 24-7 to review your gameplay, that's crazy, help you find your weak points, and help, you know, fix them as well. We also have tons of courses to help you guys improve, along with live classes from real pro players almost every day. So, let me ask you this question, what are you waiting for? Head on over to ProGuys.com to get started, and uh, you're gonna see your boy on there too. First up, potentially the most difficult part of any Fortnite match is early game. Come on, who agrees with that? Most of us already know this, like your early game pretty much determines the direction the rest of your match goes, really. If you suck at early game, you can't win fights. You're gonna just end up with totally scuffed loot or you're gonna end up dead off spawn, period. Knowing how to handle different situations in early game, whoo, especially as it comes to like fighting, is one of the most important skills that you have in Fortnite. So you definitely need your bunch of coins in the early game, that's for sure. The first situation in the early game is low ground, which is definitely one of the most rough situations that you can run into during an early game fight. Generally, if you're stuck on low ground, you won't be stacked on materials, you will have one thing at your disposal, and that's cover. That's really much it. Pretty much like wherever you land, as long as you're not walking around in the open with zero materials like a psychopath, you're going to have some sort of cover to walk around, right? Generally, some sort of building or natural structure, maybe. In this situation, you're best off just farming up some materials inside or around wherever you are and forcing your opponent into your box. Almost every opponent will either disengage as a result of this, knowing that they don't have any options, or they're going to continue to sit around, allowing you to either disengage or choose to push up and fight, assuming you have the materials and loot to do so. Okay, so if you're on high ground in early game and you're in the midst of a fight, hmm, chances are you're gonna have to push down and pressure your opponent into a box fight. When they're on low ground, most opponents are going to sit around and essentially do nothing, waiting until you make a move. Okay, so your best bet, bro, in this situation is to push down while making sure you're covered from any potential third party angles and make sure that you're not putting yourself in a very dangerous position where your opponent can just edit on you and just get an easy shot. From here, and I mean like right here, it's pretty easy to handle the fight because you could play it out like your typical box fight, right? The issue about disengaging from low ground is that your opponent is typically gonna have an easy angle to shoot you. The only time you should disengage really from low ground in early game hmm, is if you have enough materials to just build behind you. And if you have some natural cover like terrain or a building to break your opponent's line of sight. Another option while you're on height is to wait it out until your opponent leaves or just disengage on your own. These options are mostly situational. I definitely don't recommend waiting it out if the zone is just far away or if you need more time to loot up, but you can definitely do this if you're in a good situation and you're just willing to take some time out of your game. If the zone is far away and you need to get going or if you need to loot or farm up, you could just choose to disengage. Generally, disengaging from high ground is easy and you really shouldn't run into any issues doing so as long as you build for cover and try to stay in a non-exposed position, you get me? Another situation you'll commonly run into in early game is some psycho deciding to shoot at you from far away while you're looting. I hate that. <laughs> this is gonna happen occasionally and the only thing that you really, really need to do here is really just break the line of sight. That means you can just run behind or inside of a building, play some builds while backing away from them. Yeah, you can do that. Or get behind some terrain or anything similar like that. This situation is super easy to counter as long as you never put yourself in a situation where you're just wide open for shots and you have no materials. That's, that's a wrap. 
So in mid game, bro, like you often are gonna run into quite a few fights. Like the first piece of knowledge you're gonna need for mid game fights is to try and be the aggressor. When you're in a fight in Fortnite, it is all about the mental game. We say that all the time because it really, really is. It really is. If you can get inside your opponent's head and have them scared, you're gonna be in a much better spot to eventually get the kill. The best way to do this is by always being aggressive. Keep them on edge so they never know what to expect and just scare them into staying in their box. If you're ever on high ground during a mid-game fight, your goal should be to maintain pressure on your opponent. If they decide to start building up, just outplay them from above. A few common techniques include building cones and floors to just block them off and editing through for a shot. Spraying their builds out while they build up for a potential fall damage kill, love those. Or if you're more of the cycle type, drop it down below them when they don't expect it and just go for the shot that way. So if you're on low ground during a mid-game fight, your goal should be to take control of the fight. If you're on low ground, that usually means your opponent is the aggressor and you don't want that. Your best bet is to force your opponent to drop down and just WQ you. Then try to get a heavy shot off to turn the ties of the fight. Or if you have the materials and the confidence to retake height, just luring them in, right? And just cranking up to take height and then just play like you typically would from height. Whichever way you decide to handle it, your strategy will consist of just luring your opponent in and just take control of the fight that way. A few other options that you can consider using while you're on low ground include breaking your opponent down, trying to disengage, right? And using your mobility to try and just quickly retake height. Items like Kit's Shockwave Launcher, you know, Jules Grapple Gun, Crash Pads, Launch Pads can be used to regain height super fast. But obviously depend on whether, you know, you actually have them or not, right? <laughs> If you do, then it's definitely worth considering. The final situation that you may run into in mid game is when you get beamed instantly during the fight and you have to fend off a hungry W Keir. This happens a lot to us and it's a quite unfortunate situation to be in. The biggest tip that I can give you for this situation is to instantly just switch your hard materials like being brick or metal and just try to get yourself into a safe spot. Typically, you're gonna need to build multiple boxes and potentially switch layers depending on how hard you got beat and just find a spot where you can just briefly hide to buy yourself enough time to heal. Once you're all healed up in this situation, you can just play it like a normal mid-game fight. Usually from low ground, you can also try to disengage if you have the mobility, but generally, you're gonna have to take the fight and just clean up the kill. So in that case, remember to counter your opponent's aggression with your own aggression, man. Because the mental game, it is 50% of the fight when it comes to Fortnite. All right, we gotta do this real quick before we move on to the end game. If you feel like you're struggling with the mid game, we got a course like that just for you. Check out our website to get started. Next up, and man, oh man, we got the end game. I'm gonna need my bunch of crunch right now for this part because it's about to get interesting. Now, end game works a little bit different. Generally, in end game, you won't be running into many pure 1-1 one -one fights, right? Instead, you got a bunch of other players to worry about. This section is going to be mostly geared toward end games and scrims and arena, since in public matches, mid game and end game are extremely similar for the most part. To start during end game, okay, hmm, you should always be trying to get high ground between the six and eight zones. The sweet spot is around the seven zone where you're gonna have enough room to actually take height, but also won't run too low in materials trying to maintain it. However, sometimes you'll unfortunately be forced to low ground. This could be for a lot of different reasons, like scuff loot, low materials, or something else. Either way, your goal on low ground should be to get an impact frag as soon as possible to recover materials and just get more healing items along with whatever else you may need. Typically, most low ground players will be in shambles, right? Especially if they're not building much. So try to get a sneak attack down on a player and just get off on low ground as soon as possible to continue your game. The longer you stick around, the higher your chances of dying. If you manage to take high ground, you're in a really good spot. And all you really need to do is maintain your high ground and just try to put pressure on players below, especially people who seem to be looking for your height. If someone starts cranking to take your height, you can either give them height or if you have the materials and health to fight them, you could just try to do that. Overall, high ground is generally an easy position to play in endgame, as long as you're good at fighting and aren't too greedy with it and are not really afraid to drop back down if needed. All right, guys, so overall, knowing how to handle different situations within Fortnite is absolutely critical, especially at a competitive level. Hopefully, this video gave you guys some helpful insight into which types of decisions that you should be making depending on your situation. Finally, make sure to check out our community Discord and subreddit, guys. We're going to put the link, both of those, in the description and check out ProGuides.com to find your pro coach and access some exclusive content that you're not going to find anywhere else.